I think the Fox Pro frame just saved my life. It's 8am on a Sunday morning and the Floyd Hill parking lot is already full. I'm going to ride one of the hottest trails currently on the front range, the downhill specific mountain bike trail here at Floyd Hill. Admittedly, I'm not a jumper. I kind of allergic to having my wheels in the air. Will I totally embarrass myself or will this old man learn some new tricks today? So this is the bottom of the downhill trail. Now let's cut to the chase. Filming this didn't go the way I hoped. I planned to do a somewhat timid initial rundown, then go back and run through all the features and alternate lines and then run down again and see how I improved. As you'll see, things went, to use a Royal Air Force term, a little pear-shaped. It is a busy, busy morning. It looks like a lot of the people here are walking up the downhill trail, checking it out. I'm actually going to ride the cross-country trail to the top and do just an initial rundown and then go back and check out some of the features. First run down the downhill line and I'm going to be taking the easier line. Never seen it before and I don't like taking air, remember? So this will be embarrassingly slow. But then I'm going to go back and check out the features and see if I can improve uh, on future runs. So first run down the main line. At the very top there are three alternate lines right from the very top and then right here there's an alternate line down to the right as well. But the main trail, which is the most visible, continues straight on. And on this corner there's two alternate lines as well. Obviously there's a lot of things you can do here. I can see lots of alternate lines. Little pump section here. Going to the left here leads to a rock with about a three foot drop. Yeah, big rock drop. Nice little rocky feature. And this corner has a hidden alternate line. So many alternate lines. I'll go this way. Oh, totally missed that. Rock booters. <laughs> jump. That hidden alternate line drops back to the main trail here. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously that's a big air feature if you get some speed into it. Not my kind of thing. So many lines through the rocks up there. <laughs> now this rock took me a little by surprise. It sharply sticks up and it sharply drops the other side. Bit of a drop on that side but it's all rollable. Oh. 
Now as we turn the corner here, there's a rocky alternate line that heads off to your left. That turn is coming up just about now, but here I continue on. That rocky line actually crosses that, this trail and drops down. So the fast flowy line kind of swoops through S's, but the rocky line will drop straight down. Oh, oh there's another alternate line coming in there. <laughs> so many line choices. Again, more choices here. Go over the rocks to the left, and we'll continue on the trail to the right. Oh, okay. And that other alternate line that crosses the main S track, that drops down all the way to here. I do, I've got a film session. <laughs> As we approach the bottom, there's less rocky alternate lines and the trail becomes more of a pump track and jump track and flow trail as we get near the bottom. <laughs> yes, I wimped out on these easy rocks. I know. I suck. section very pumpy very jumpy It is a table tops. My body just tells me to keep the wheels in the air, pre-jump, pre-jumping for speed. <laughs> I'm just not an air merchant. Wait, and that was the downhill. Whew. Now to go back up and check out some of those features. Right at the start of the trail you have two features, uh, line to the left, line to the right. The line to the right is the easier blue line, to the left you go over a rock features. You scoot up over here, it's all rideable, and then across these rocks, up, up this roller, and then down across here. And again, multiple lines up here, you can ride this rock, you can follow down through here, Nice easy line, and you can head to the right. So we've got three lines through here. So at this point my day started going pear-shaped. Perhaps it was an omen of things to come. The video intro to this feature got lost, 
Basically, after the first feature, you have a line down to the right, which will drop through these rocks, or you go straight on and continue on the main trail. Now, if you take that line to the left and not the alternate line to the right, you'll continue on a longer path down. Again, you get to alternate lines here. The main line this time turns to the right and heads off down this way, but the alternate line comes up this rock feature, drops down this way, and send you into a drop. Again, it's kind of a rollable drop, but it sends you into a drop, which if you hit some speed, you can kind of land on the downslope this way. I'm not really into taking air, <laughs> so I'm going to roll this, but uh, I don't get to come down this alternate line. I did the main line on the early run down. Now that wasn't very good. Gotta fail. This is not something you can do at a slow speed. Uh, getting that corner is going to be the, the trick and the challenge. Now a little further down as we crest around this rock we'll get to another decision point. The blue easier line goes straight on that's the trail to the right but if we head to the left we head up to the top of this rock which leads us to a nice little drop so drop off here and then continue down actually it looks like it might be rollable but i'm not going to try this one today i don't like doing drops at a slow speed so i'm going to stick to the blue line i know call me a wimp decision point again this one's pretty easy it doesn't really matter which way you go left or right right's a bit easier left just gives you a small one foot drop down nothing particularly major and then you both get into the same rollers thereafter so pretty straightforward as i gradually ride down the trail and investigate it i found a whole series of extra lines there's a whole very little used line probably because it's hard to find from the main trail that drops down these rocks down here and it swings around and connects up with the main trail down there I'm climbing up to try to find out where it connects and then I'm thinking of riding it even though that looks like quite a wall well, it all looks rollable but that is pretty steep this is about eight foot higher than me can I get up here? <laughs> Then I had to climb up it. It's going to be tough. On this corner, there's another line down. Can you see it? Go ahead this way, up and down. And then we drop down this way. My idea was to stop on that top landing before the main drop, head back up and reposition the camera. The stop didn't go according to plan. I think the Fox Pro frame just saved my life. <sighs> my idea for this video was to get one shot where I drop off there and then I was gonna stop before the main drop, reset the camera and then do the main drop. I, uh, I stopped, but not very well, tumbled and fell eight feet onto my head. <sighs> So, I went down here, no problem. But it turns out it's pretty hard to actually stop before you hit this main drop. And anyway, I stopped, the bike went one way. I went through that bush and then fell down to where the bike is there and landed on my pro frame right onto a rock. So the pro frame took out the the impact, I haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> See if it's okay. Ooh. Actually, seems to be the back that got most of the impact. <laughs> it actually looks in pretty good condition, surprisingly. 
Well. But am I going to try that again? Hell yeah. At this point, I don't know if adrenaline is kicking in or if I've got a concussion, but I really start to mess up the video. That's exactly where I went. I'm switching the video off when I think I'm switching it on and on when I think I'm switching it off and generally getting pretty confused with what I'm filming. So the next few features I thought I recorded, I didn't and I got a lot of rubbish like this. But I do manage to get it back together towards the end. Right, the natural tendency here on this line is just to continue and take the berm around the corner. But if you head off to the right, you got uh, an alternative rock slab way to get down, which looks fairly easy, but I haven't done it yet. To send in this feature, you want to keep left of the tree stump as you hit the bottom. Going right takes you onto a more difficult line onto the next rock drop. I took the right line because that's the natural tendency. So here I'm going back up to take it again. This time to the left. After this I didn't record anymore until I reached the bottom. I thought I recorded more, but I didn't. So I'm just going to have to come out another day and do this again. I suck. <laughs> if I didn't know it was there, I'd just drop off it. But now I see it, I'm like, yeah, mind of a matter takes over. And I embarrass myself. I am somewhat bloodied, so I thought, I, I thought it was time to give it a rest for today. Hopefully this gives you a taster of what Floyd Hill has to offer. My first run down was pretty timid, but then I took those alternate lines hopefully gave you a sample of what else is out there. Just don't uh, fall off any eight foot cliffs like I did. <laughs> On this ride, I know of three people that crashed, so take it careful. But go out, have fun, see you on another ride.